Scientists believe a little girl who was born with HIV has been cured of the infection. On the air and online, it made news around the world. Unveiled at a scientific conference in Atlanta, Georgia, the case would produce banner headlines. A medical first, an accidental cure. Is the end of AIDS near? The prospect of a cure is what we've all been searching for. Uh, we've said this uh, for many years. Our goal is to put ourselves out of business. Dr. Paul Palumbo is a Dartmouth-Hitchcock pediatrician who has spent the past few decades working with HIV-infected children and their mothers. He was among the first to analyze the landmark findings. Very exciting case. It has implications for the future. Uh, it shows us where we need to go in our near-term research to try and replicate this and either prove or disprove uh, that a cure is possible very early in infection like this. The case involves a Mississippi infant born HIV positive and given high doses of three antiretroviral drugs within 30 hours of birth for 18 months. The notion of hitting the virus hard with drug treatments soon after infection is a familiar one to Dr. Palumbo. We already, before this case surfaced, uh, were in the process of designing a trial to do just what happened in this case. Researchers know that treating HIV-positive mothers early on is important because they pass antibodies onto their babies. In the Mississippi case, the mother had not been treated during pregnancy and transmitted the virus to her newborn, which generally would mean drug treatment for life to keep the virus in check. Not so in this case, which researchers call a functional cure. The functional part means that they still carry HIV within cells in their body. That HIV is no longer active, it's not producing new viruses, but it has the potential at some time in the future to activate and produce new virus. Researchers are still sorting out the implications of this case for the treatment of adults with HIV. In adult settings where transmission occurs, we don't know that that individual is infected until a fair amount of time post the infection event. In that setting, uh, it would predictably be much more difficult to affect a cure with, with antiretroviral therapy. The good news is that because of all the publicity surrounding this case, resources are now being mobilized to investigate this new HIV drug treatment strategy. But there is a negative side as well. Some unrealistic expectations may have surfaced because of uh, the buzz that this single case has generated. At Dartmouth-Hitchcock, Dr. Palumbo and his colleagues are hearing from families asking if their children can come off HIV medications and whether their children can be cured. It doesn't mean that all of these children out there are going to be cured. They have established infection. Uh, they're not close to the time that they got infected any longer. Coming off therapy would uh, almost certainly be detrimental to them. Uh, so we have to be very careful about the message that we transmit during this process. The UN estimates that 330,000 babies were newly infected in 2011 and that more than 3 million children globally are living with HIV. So the stakes are high. I don't want to uh, dampen enthusiasm. I think this was a, an incredible case. Uh, again, a single case that still needs uh, um, uh, intense investigation. But it does provide uh, significant hope to the field, uh, to HIV-infected women, to children out there, and possibly even adults.